Um, so Hungry Jacks is doing red velvet sundaes, and Cal had never heard of red velvet before in his whole life. You should eat your regular food first. Oh, I want to know what this is. Um, okay, so, my computer is going insane. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't, like, okay, so remember before I said it was repairing problems? Mm hmm Well, okay, so here's what happened from the process of, like, 15 minutes of a bar sliding across a screen and doing nothing. Then it was like, oh, we, we can't fix this problem. Can't turn your computer on anymore. I'm um, like, what? Like, now we're shutting down, or, or you know, or, or, do you want to send you know, more information to Microsoft about this problem? Maybe, maybe they can fix it. I was like, no, just go away. Um, and then I was like, no, we're shutting down. I'm like, fine. So it shuts down, and then I'm like, oh, bugger you. So I turn it back on, and it's like, there are no problems. Starting up. I'm like, so you did fix the problem, then. Or there wasn't a problem, and you were just wasting my time. I'm sorry. That's just what we need. But it's stupid. Because the whole thing, you know what the whole thing stemmed from? What? It had a little freak out that I didn't shut down properly. Because it had to restart after it did an update and it did like an automatic restart, right? Mm -hmm. And then I was like, no, it's late. I don't want the computer back on. I just want it off. So while it was starting, I was like, no, I don't want to wait for it to be on to turn it off. <coughs> so I just powered it off, you know? And then it was like, oh my god, you powered me off. I can't deal with this. I have problems with this. This is not okay. And then... And then it was all stupid. Yeah. That's all. Cal just got a letter from the place where he was born. I don't understand why. Was there a mix-up? Seems like they've waited a while to tell me if that was the case. Gonna open it and cross the road. At the same time? Safety. I want to know if there was a mix up. What the hey doodle? I'm not even. I haven't even been to it. Like, what is this? Appeals for your kind help to provide the best possible care for premature babies, but how do they know where I'm from? Like, obviously they sent it to Dad. Yeah. Because it says... But, like... Had it on the drive. It's not like we have a baby, you know? No, like, but, like, I was a baby then. <laughs> were you in the, the neonatal intensive care Well, no, or but, like, I was whatever. a baby at that hospital. You call it the critical care unit. No. We call it the intensive care unit, unless there are two different ones. I think I think there's a diff. I think cr intensive care is like you've been stabbed. Oh, but the neonatal intensive care unit oh. babies don't generally get stabbed straight out of the womb. I mean, I'm no oh, expert. Still a bit like there's scissors <laughs> and stuff. But more importantly, like why would they? How do they? Like, I haven't been to this hospital since I left this hospital, you know? Yeah. Got words of encouragement? Oh. It's raining. <laughs> what's, what's this? Why do I have a thing? I'm so confused. Um, do you have something you need to tell me? Like, are you are you the father of someone else's child? Or? Not to my not. Look, there's a birthday wishes? Whose birthday? They've given me a card and several cards. And what's this? No, I'm not. 
haven't done anything. Maybe your mother made a donation in your name or something. I'm confused. I'm a little scared. So we just got Emily's fingers printed. And it didn't cost you any money. It didn't. That was a good thing. That yeah. should have made my day, but I'm in too bad of a mood. So basically what happened was we took her to the police station um, to get her tagged and registered as a wife so that if she ever gets lost they can just use their chip scanner and find out where she belongs. And then we also got her finger printed and look how clean her fingers are. They gave me magic soap. Magic soap. Now we're at the end of the escalator. Those would be super bouncy. Oh, I'm going to drop it again. Babies. Yeah. They're wearing pink though, we can't get ones with pretty yet. Let's show where that goes on its face. Yeah. That works, right? Yeah. <laughs> like this one hasn't got it either. Why not? There you go, baby. Okay. This one. I'm trying to help this one up here. Yeah. I'll get it. I'll help all the tiny babies. Welcome. Somebody? No. Oh. Does it feel like skin? A little bit. These pictures are creepy. Get your hand out of there. I mean, they're blue. My other one's blue. Yeah. Um. These ones aren't. Aren't bad. Yeah, you know, like that one is just blue. The one that's five. This one. Yeah, and you wear the blue tie with it. Or oh, the purple. Pop out here. Yeah. Um, whatever you think. That could match a whole heap of stuff. Yeah, that's my thought process. But how do I decide what size to get? Because they're all wrapped up. Um, that is a good question. Does it have like any... To fit chest size. Well, I don't know what I already am, guys. Yeah. What the heck? They should have like a, this is roughly a large, this is roughly a medium, like. Yeah. This is and you could probably go out and ask someone. That would be weird. Um, oh, well, let's see, what, what are these? It's all 41. 44, I feel like 42. it would probably be on the largest. Yeah, I agree. Um, so Hungry Jacks is doing red velvet sundaes and Cal had never heard of red velvet before in his whole life. You should eat your regular food first. Oh, I want to know what this is. How is it? Amazing. What is that? Can I try some? No, this is mine. You shouldn't have been safe, Millie. You should have gotten more. I'm gonna try a little bit. <laughs> it's all over your teeth. That is really good. <laughs> 